It's Sligo for Fla Hjol Naheran. And in keeping with our visit to the northwest, we begin with a group of neighbours' children, so to speak, from Cavan, Monaghan and Leitrim. We have Keen Sweeney on flute, Sabina McCaig on fiddle, Ollie O'Loughlin on piano accordion and John McCart on guitar. They're playing a set of reels including Devils of Dublin. Hello and welcome to Sligo for the 64th Flag Hill in Heron. A full 23 years since Sligo last hosted the Flag Hill, and the town is full of thousands of people soaking up the atmosphere and the music. John Carlo Orgel and Flag Hill and Shaw and and it's a place that is steeped in musical tradition. Local legends like Michael Coleman, James Morrison, and Paddy Caloran brought their music to America and helped influence generations of Irish Americans. And there are so many of those Irish Americans in the throngs here around Sligo. Over the next six weeks, Evine and myself will bring you the highlights from Sligo, Black Hill Heron. And when we talk about the great Sligo music tradition of the past, it's great to see that tradition continuing in the likes of Ianthus, current holders of the prestigious Sheen Sagale Inn title. They're playing reels, the Road to Antrim and the Baroiva Reel.
Ianthus, great musical ambassadors from Riverstown, County Sligo. The Flat Yule of Old used to be a weekend festival. Gradually, extra days were added, and in Sligo, it's a week-long event. An impressive parade, plenty of music and pageantry, and a huge turnout were all the right ingredients for their official opening day. of what was to come during the FLA celebrations was appreciated by a large audience which included President of Ireland Michael D. Higgins. The large attendance at the official opening was swelled even more by the many Irish and overseas visitors. South America would never be called a stronghold for Irish traditional music but that's where Gillian Gonzalez comes from. She's playing Dick Gossip's Reel. Colombia. Colombia. And yeah. where is it that you learned Irish traditional music? Uh, all the learning has been by internet. Actually. And how long did that take? It has been seven or eight years now. I found out about the flat two years ago. A friend of mine told me, and he told me there is this competition, the All Ireland Fiddle Championship. And he said, if you're good enough, you can uh, like do it. And so here I am. The Sligo Fla is a real community event. Every trader in town seems to enter into the spirit of the Fla. And it's an effort that's reciprocated by some of Ireland's finest musicians, like the recently formed Irish Concertina Ensemble, made up of Tim Collins, Idel Fox and Pori Grin from County Clare, along with Michal O'Rahale and Cochley Nicowan from County Meath.
Very stately, that was Loftus Jones by Torlock O'Carolan, played there by the Irish Concertina Ensemble. With me is uh, Tim Collins. Uh, you're a West Limerick man, actually, aren't you? I am, yeah, by birth, but uh, living in clear now. For the benefit of those say, who are considering taking up an instrument, sell the concertina. What are the virtues of the instrument, apart from the fact that it's easy to carry? Concertina really fits very, very well as a solo instrument, yeah. as an instrument uh, in ensembles, like smaller groups, duets, trios. It's really firmly established in the Cayley Band tradition now. Uh, if you look at a lot of the big groups, uh, that are touring the world now playing Irish music, you have concertina players and of course this yet again provides a, a new platform, a new context for, for the music by putting, uh, in this case, five concertinas together. So it's, it's a very adaptable instrument. Great stuff. Well, Berbu with concertina and nice. everything else. Thanks very much, Tim. Regulars at the Flack Hill know a certain amount of legwork is needed to take in fully the sights and sounds available all over town. And right in the centre were these young musicians from all over the country who were oblivious to the huge crowds and were clearly enjoying their fly involvement. Back to Sligo for the 64th Flag Hill Naheran. And we resume with Teda, a band who've been huge overseas ambassadors for Sligo, but today they're back on home turf. We've Oshin McDiarmida on fiddle, Paul Finn on box, Damien Stents on flute, Sean McElwain, guitar player, and Tristan Rosenstock, Bowron. Their set includes the Sweetheart Reel and Paddy Kenny's. The fly so far. Yes, it's fantastic. It's really wonderful to see so many wonderful musicians around our hometown. There's just a great buzz. Everyone's having such a good time, and it's great to see so many people come to see Sligo. It's such a great town, and it's a great, great experience for everybody here. Well, I live in Sligo for the last ten years, and I've never seen Sligo that busy. It's really, really because <laughs> it's just funny to go out and walk on the streets. It's really cool. And what's your opinion of Sligo so far? Oh, it's brilliant, 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 and the people are brilliant that comes here. Sure, 
you know, you don't meet people like that every day. How do you think the town have done in hosting the flat? I think they've done a great job. Like, it looks really well, it's very clean, they really kept the place looking well. The, the good thing about Sligo is it has good streets for to take the crowd. No matter how big they come, we'll take them. The flat here in Sligo has been fantastic. We've, it's been an absolute pleasure to be around. I think the locals and everybody has pulled together and it's been a fabulous few days. I think it's been great and we look forward to it again here next year. And this is Emily, star of the show. And we're getting it every place, concerts, out in the street, and everybody's very content and happy and jolly. And when you listen to music, you can't be cross. I always associate music with eating chocolates. I never saw a person eating chocolate yet that was crying. And the same with the trad music. Bloody brilliant. Tell me, what have you enjoyed about the flat so far? Uh, well, it's, uh, I suppose this is the best of Irish music, song and dance. Um, there was fantastic concerts here. I was in concert myself and we had um, a, great, a great time here. Uh, it's a perfect venue, as I said. Um, Sligo, there's lovely people everywhere you go. They're so accommodating and everyone with their red t-shirts on helping us around, giving us directions. So it's a perfect, ideal venue. Do you want to so. give me a song? Shall the rouse invite and have Sanishim vain truck us a thrill. Mackay like trow and a down go train. The born like nooks on the me gain. Shame a leak my ill amar. Shame a hay sir gill amar. Soon I shall never fain. Oh, look again, my mark. There's plenty of sessions on the street of the flat. Oh, one of my favourite things is bumping into people that I know from years ago. Tommy, take it away. <laughs> Mayo box player Tommy Doherty sets the pace with May Behind the Bar, while County Leitrim dance teacher Edwina Guckin and her students match the lively music. of Sligo offers a pleasant promenade with music on every corner, but it's not long before a set of tunes emanating from a pub window entices us inside. This is a family affair with Sligo sisters Deirdre, Patricia and Fanula Collis, Fanula's son and daughter Kean and Quiva Cairns, with Sylvie Golden and Neave O'Sullivan.
Hunter's House ending that real set. Despite the rain, I think it's time for a couple of lovely barn dances. From Sean O'Mara, we've got Tara Breen, we've got Lisa Kenny, and we've got Eamon Rooney. That's what I call letting it rip. A collection of barn dances there, including the Roseland, from Sean, Tara, Lisa and Damon. More of the same next week, same time, same channel.